and welcome back to Glacier. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a great day and in today's video we're going to be talking about fake speedruns. But before we do begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and of course, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into this one. 326. Technoblade. Well, this actually isn't Technoblade, but his skin looks very similar. Anyways, we won't be getting occupied by that matter. Let's get to the speedrun itself. First of all, they're already starting with some level, which, well, explains it all. They turn around and guess what? There's a portal there with two chests. That seems totally normal, right? They have everything in those chests, such as arrows, stacks of dirt, nether armor, and the portal leads to the ender dragon. How is that possible? The portal doesn't even look the way that it, a portal really should. It's a total cheat and we're completely sure of that. Four minutes. Random. Clearly, we don't even have to explain this one. The speedrunner explains himself by actually starting in creative mode. And we all know that there is one rule that applies to speedrunning. No creative mode. Seriously, can you believe it? How did this guy think people would believe him? This is hilarious, but it's also obviously fake. At least we can laugh at it. 40 seconds. Random speedrunner yet again. This YouTuber has a first act really normal and found normal stuff in his chest. He wasted a bit of time crafting a portal and after that he went fishing. That's when he started getting suspicious. Because not only he fished a stake, but also a whole stack of 32. For safe. That is kind of insane. We simply can't believe it. Because how was he truly so lucky? Or was there something fishy about it? Well, clearly the second option is more viable. Because when he went fishing again, he got an enchanted diamond shovel. How is that possible? And that was not the end. Because he also got a beacon, a diamond sword, and some other stuff. Totally legit. Dream. In late 2020, speedrun.com announced it, that they had rejected a fifth place run from popular Minecraft speedrunner content creator Dream. The run, which was submitted in October, was rejected in late December after speedrun.com led an investigation into the situation that lasted roughly two months. Dream actively argued against the results of the investigation. And after the controversy continued to prove toxic for everyone involved, it was ended. But today, nearly five months later, Dream posted his full perspective of the incident and what he thinks went wrong after digging into it further. In the post, the content creator admitted to using a disallowed modification during the run, but claimed he was unaware the mod was active at the time. As much as I was confident that I didn't cheat, I had never explored the option that I possibly did, Dream said. Due to the way I reacted to the mods and perceived everything going on, I was convinced that they were out to get me. I tunnel vision and was paranoid and didn't think straight. I had plenty of valid reasons to believe that they weren't impartial and had the mod team and I been completely friendly from the beginning, I believe it never would have gotten to the point that it did. Dream said once he started digging into the logistics behind the situation, however, he realized he had been using some forms of disallowed modification during six of his streams. These were mods used for making videos that were being developed by someone he hired alongside fellow content creator Joyce Not Found. He brushed off any potential problems because of the mods, at the time weren't affecting gameplay and he thought they were disabled or only impacted server-side gameplay. After discovering this and taking down the video, Dream said he considered making a statement but decided against it because the drama had basically already passed. He claimed he didn't want to force people back into the continuous negativity after it had just ended. Well, at least he admitted to cheating. That is very brave of him. But that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this and much, much more. We'll see you guys on the next time. Until then, take care. Bye, guys.